discipline and consistency. Uh, it takes immense discipline to block out all of the white noise, untether from the unnecessarily complex, and focus on the fundamentals relentlessly during the unseen hours. But then it's also something that you can't do every once in a while, or do when you feel like it, or do when the mood strikes, or do when it's convenient. Those have to be things that you do every single day. Dreams without goals are just dreams, and ultimately they fuel disappointment. On the road to achieving your dreams, you uh, must apply uh, discipline, discipline. Come but on. more importantly, consistency, consistency. Because without commitment, you'll never start. But without consistency, you'll, you'll never, never finish. finish. That's another mistake I think people make is they think discipline is kind of like uh, eye color or height, like it's been predetermined. It's yeah. not. Even if you have a history of making undisciplined decisions in your finances, in your relationships, in your physical fitness, you can change that with the very next decision that you make. To be successful at anything, the truth is you don't have to be special. You just have to be what most people aren't. Consistent, determined, and willing to work for it. No shortcuts. I believe it's time plus consistency will get us almost anything in this world that we want. You know, no one goes out and shoots hoops for three days and is a world-class shooter. You got to do that every single day. And it's the same thing. If you're smiling and dialing 10 calls every single day, well, yeah, anyone can do that for a week. Yeah, yeah. Some people can do it for a month. Very few people can do that for a year. Almost no one can do that for a career. Consistency doesn't guarantee that you'll be successful. But not being consistent will guarantee that you won't reach success that anytime you're not getting the result or the output, the very first thing you need to do is ask yourself, how have I been complicit in not getting what I want? Like, what is my role in not getting what I want? We lost the basketball game, we didn't make the sale or we didn't hit our numbers, my relationship isn't going well, I don't like the way I look and feel. Uh, the very first thing needs to be is, how have I contributed to not getting what I want? And, and that's an attitude, hat tip to Jocko Willing of extreme ownership. Extreme ownership is this went wrong, this failed, didn't accomplish this, and it's not the fault of my boss, it's not the fault of my girlfriend, it's not the fault of my parents, it's not the fault of the weather, it's my fault. And I'm gonna take ownership of it and I'm gonna fix it. That's what extreme ownership is. And this is a very difficult thing to do because it hurts. And so, a lot of times we have this desire to point the blame finger externally, but wherever you point the finger of blame, power follows. And so whoever I blame for the life I have is the person who I give all the power over my existence, over my circumstances. And so it hurts, but if you turn the finger inwards and you start saying, huh, I don't like my life. The person that I need to punish or get back at is the real person who got me here, which is me. And so you may be right that other people did certain things or you got dealt a bad hand. It also doesn't matter because the only thing that you can't control is obviously the actions that you take. And the only person who's in control of that is you. It's a saying that, that I'm gonna look at myself first. You know, what most people tend to do when they don't get the results that they want is they blame, they complain, and they make excuses. It's someone else's fault for why their body doesn't look the way they want or why their relationship isn't going well or why their business is tanking. And I think the very first thing we need to do is ask how we've been complicit. And I think when we do that with some honesty and some vulnerability and a little bit of courage, we usually uncover, at least in my own life experience, we usually uncover that we've drifted away from the fundamentals. We've stopped doing the basic building blocks in those different areas. And when we recommit to those, then we'll start to see our performance and thus our results and outcomes start to increase.